Sebastian's car. That means we're at Sebastian's house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sebastian's now here, and uh, what what you got there? Coconut ice cream. Did you get me some? No, thanks. Um, did you use my credit card? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here today. We're at MP Built um, Performance. MP. I'll just say MP. It's our friend's shop down here in uh, Mid Jersey, uh, Central Jersey is what I would call, not Mid Jersey. Anyway, uh, he has a lot of cool cars. Uh, one of the cars we're going to be shooting today is his Nissan uh, R35 Nismo Edition, his GTR. Um, this is just for fun shoot. Again, we told we were doing, we talked about doing these like we did with Jared. So we're going to just take the night. We're going to do an all night shoot with this GTR. We're going to shoot flames because he shoots some massive flames. We're going to do some really cool rollers. Found some really cool locations. We're going to go over some bridges. We're going to go through some tunnels, um, through the Candy Cane Forest. Uh, we're gonna get some really cool footage of this GTR um, and uh, just make a cool little night edit of it. Uh, Sebastian's here, he's gonna be helping doing some of the rolling shots. Um, we have all the camera gear we need. We have Anthony's from Halcyon, thank you to Anthony. He lent us his suction cup kit. We're gonna mount the camera on the hood of the minivan for some uh, rear flame shots. We got the Movi. I picked up a Super 8 camera. It's in that back, it's in that little cannon bag right there. I'm gonna try to mess around with that a little bit. Um, we got some sound, we'll get sound. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a fun video for the night. We're hopefully gonna finish the video tonight. We have a cool little storyline planned out for it. We'll fill you in on that as we go throughout the night. Uh, if we can't, we'll try to finish this another night since the shop's only like an hour and a half from me. Um, so we could always come back and finish more shots, but we'll see how much we can get done into the night. Um, but as soon as it gets dark out, we're gonna start uh, filming. But first we'll watch Sebastian take one more. Oh, oh God. All right, so first things first. First things first, I gotta put on a hoodie because it's brick out. It's usually not this cold in the Northeast this early in the year, but it's really cold. Uh, we got our cars over here. Again, we're at MP. Uh, they got their Lambo out of here, their shop Lambo, and the GTR we're gonna be shooting. We're gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker out to get our first scene, because we want this whole video to be at night. And the first scene of this video, and the whole idea of this video, is that someone, this guy's locking up the shop, the owner's locking up the shop, and as he's locking up, someone sneaks in the shop behind him, steals the GTR out of the shop, joy rides it all night, and then abandons it or leaves it in like a parking garage and like a Gone 60 Seconds, Fast and Furious kind of vibe. Um, so that's the whole uh, wind. That's the whole gist of the video. Um, so uh, we're just waiting for it to get dark. I'm gonna build camera in the meantime. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll show you guys some BTS when we get the other shots. We'll show you some flames when the GTR shoots some flames later. Um, we'll show you around the, the Nismo because I know a lot of you guys like GTRs. And uh, they also have some other cool cars in the shop. Uh, think like an R33, another Lambo, some S2Ks that are really built. We'll show you guys those uh, as well once you go inside the shop. But I'm gonna throw a hoodie on, build camera, and I'll check back in with you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I also picked up this uh, Canon 514 XLS Cano Sound uh, Super 8 camera. Uh, we can't use the, the sound of it anymore because they don't make that, uh, that film anymore. But I got this one because it can also shoot in 24 frames per second, which is going to go through our rolls quicker. Um, but uh, I'm going to shoot in 18. I'm, I'll save 24 for when I really need it. Uh, I don't have a 500T. Um, film. I have a 200T that I'm going to use tonight and just mess around with it. I've never shot Super 8 before um, and we have an upcoming trip where I want to include a lot of Super 8 footage so I'm just going to practice a little bit of this tonight. So we'll load some footage in here and we'll get some BTS of that along the way. We'll probably throw that in in the main video or in this BTS but uh, it's just going to be some practice stuff. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Sounds good. If you guys uh, need some cool interior parts or uh, what else does it do? It's like face masks and stuff. Reupholsters, reupholsters stuff. If you guys need some stuff like that, we'll put his Instagram here on the screen. Shout to MD Interiors. If you guys are interested. Mm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Never seen like actual Super 8. Yeah, and then when you're done, it, that's gonna say exposed, um, and that's how you know it'll be done. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that's so sick. All right, Godspeed. Say again? Chris is always what hungry. Kind of questions? Yeah, probably all right. What kind of question was that? <laughs> so Mark's at the store. He's thinking about picking up like some steaks and shit. So What's later to you, by the way? Whatever. Are you hungry now? No, no, no. I'm just wondering, like time-wise. What's like just for the night? Like what's late for you? I'm up till like fucking four o'clock on the regular. Okay, that's too late for me. Okay. <laughs> just, just that's that's past cool. Christmas at that cool. time, actually. <laughs> cool. Cool. Right. Cool. I have to have him tucked in uh, by midnight. Yeah, now you're built. Yeah, oh. boy. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do our first shot uh, here. We're, we're going to plan out our first shot here in our mind or in person now that we're actually here. Um, and like we mentioned before, the whole scene is like this guy sneaking in here, stealing the GTR, joyriding it the whole night. So we need the first shot that's, I could see you zoomed in. We could, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need this first shot here to establish the video. 
Um, so we're just going to walk it out um, before we have talent come in or our friends come in and do this. I'll call them talent. They'll feel better. Um, and uh, see how it's going to look. And then we'll put our car in and we'll do, a, we'll do the damn thing. But we're just going to test it out. We're going to walk through it first so that way we're not filming it a thousand times. Uh, we know exactly what we're going to do. So practice. I'm just going to admire <laughs> all the beautiful stuff here. So it's dark enough now for us to start shooting. The guys are going to quickly clean off the car and then we're going to knock out our first shot of the guy kind of pretending to break into the shop, but uh, he's just cleaning off the car right now, grabbing some random Super 8 footage. Again, I don't know if my... Uh, stock is too low iso or asa whatever you consider super eight um but again i'm just kind of messing with this playing around with it uh we'll see how it comes out uh, i think it'll just be really cool and maybe it'll be footage i actually use for the video who knows but uh we'll see cleaning off the gtr though i know you guys live use some gtrs oh yeah you'll see more of it later First scene now, we're moving some cars around at the shop here to go ahead and uh, get ahead and get our uh, intro scene ready. The intro scene is going to be uh, closing these two doors from a wide across the road. And then we're gonna, uh, like he's shutting up the shop, he's gonna shut the lights off. And then we're gonna go over here and get our intro shot of the guy shutting up the shop. And then our, uh, our guy who's breaking in and stealing the GTR is gonna come around the corner and kind of look like he's sneaking into the side of the building. So moving some cars around and we'll figure this out. Set in three, two, one. Man, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to, we need to wide all the lights coming on. The car is starting because the car's already on. So we'll do the one right before we leave. So we'll do one more shot of him at the door being surprised or just in that area. Okay, so we just finished filming the intro sequence of the whole portion of the video that explains what's going on, kind of how this guy sneaks into the shop, steals the car, the owner hears it, runs back in, doesn't get here in time, the garage door flies up, the car flies out. Um, so we finished that sequence right now. Uh, we're going to now build camera for Movi. We're breaking down from handheld. We're going to build for Movi because um, the next shot we're going to get is the car actually flying out of the garage. Um, from two different angles. We'll show you those. One's going to be close to the shop walking and the other one's going to be from car to car. So that's going to be interesting. And then uh, we're going to go do rollers, find a cool feature location, go through a tunnel, go through a bridge, and then we have one ending scene. And uh, that'll be it. It is already 12.28 a.m. though, so it might be a late night. Um, but we'll see how fast these rollers progress. Uh, the scenes that we're going to and locations we're going to are kind of on the way to our final destination, which helps a lot. Um, there's one spot I want to check out that's the opposite direction, but that would be the first one. Um, and then from there, it's kind of like a straight shot to our end location. Um, so I'm going to build real quick for this. We have the E7S already suctioned up for the car out front, so we can do some chase shots with that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'm building this. Then we'll do the cool exit the shop. Exit the shop shop. And then a bunch of rollers. So hopefully, I'm telling myself I'd like to be done by two, but we won't be done by two. We'll see. I gotta build a. I gotta build this camera to go on this thing. Cool car. <laughs> Video check. Okay, so uh, wait like 15 seconds and then do the damn thing. Do you want me to have the headlights on or off? Headlights on. Okay. 15 seconds from now. Five,
so we just got some really cool rollers, some quick roller shots, and then this really cool tunnel shot with the um, MP shooting flames. MP's the guy that owns the car shooting some flames uh, under, whoa, under the tunnel. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm not sure again. I'm still learning all this. Uh, we had a really cool shot where we had him stop under the tunnel shoot some flames and leading up to that We have this car mount shout out to Halcyon if you guys don't uh, aren't familiar with Halcyon subscribe to his channel Anthony you guys definitely know him, but uh, we have his triangulation mount we borrowed from him We're gonna go do a 180 shot So by that we mean we're gonna do a shot where the, the car is coming at us flying at us uh, And we see it go past the camera and then another shot where he comes past the camera shooting like away from him. So he's coming at the camera, then when he's flying past the camera, like doing a 180, if that makes any sense. Um, we're gonna do that on this like open warehousey road, and then we're gonna go towards Newark ports and shoot a little bit around there. Um, we'll try to fill you guys in when we can. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so it's a little bit different than the last time you saw the remainder of this vlog. Um, we ended the yesterday's vlog at like 2.30 a.m. We were planning to shoot later into the night, but we were all just super tired. So we ended that and we're doing a second night. This is the second night of shooting the GTR. Um, we have some cool roller shots, some cool locations planned for tonight, like we talked about in the last vlog. Um, but tonight we're going to do the other half of that. So it's about 9.30. We're going to start this uh, tonight's here. We're probably going to go late again into tonight, but hopefully finish everything we need to. Uh, our first location is really cool because it is right under a lit up brand new bridge uh, going from uh, newer, uh, New Jersey to New York or Staten Island, whatever's over there, I think Staten Island, um, uh, which is New York. Anyway, we're going to put our car underneath here and get some, use this lighting, get some really cool uh, detail shots here of the car, kind of sit down uh, our feature shots as we usually call them, and then roll over the bridge both ways to get double rollers. Um, but this is, we're just scouting out right now. But this will be where we do our first shot right here. So right now we're still just waiting for the uh, car to get here. In the meantime, we're going to just drive around this area and see if there's anything else that we didn't notice on Google Maps um, in person. But super cool area right under this very well-lit bridge. Well, well, well. Who do we have here? It's the boy. Ah, yes. Our star subjects. And our chase vehicle we're going to use later. Or whatever you want to call it. All right, we're gonna talk with our boys, let us know it's good, and then we're gonna do some cool stuff. So let's get the car positioned equally. So what we have here is two of my uh, newer, or newer, or however you wanna pronounce it, RGB panels that I bought for the live streams. If you guys aren't in the live streams, make sure you guys check out the live streams, do video reviews and all type of jazz here on the channel. We have those, lit up red, the accent color of the uh, Nismo GTR package, you can see on the pinstriping and all that, with the bridge in the background. We've just been getting some detail shots here. We have one like clean wide, we have one of the car arriving, then I have some detail shots of the gills down here on the kit, detail shots of the wing with the bridge in the background. Uh, we have a front tire shot, front grill, uh, and our fender grill here. Uh, we have our badge there in red, we got a shot of that. We have a shot from like the rear three quarters, and a shot from the front three quarters. Um, now I'm just gonna try to grab some Super more Super 8 shots, although it's probably going to be way too dark for the stock I have in here. Whenever you're ready, man, Bob!
Okay. Yep. All right, boys, we're going across the Gothels Bridge. Gonna get some rollers. Uh, we're in the side door. I'll fill you in once we're on there. I can't really do BTS as we do this so we can stay safe. Uh, I'll put in the actual footage now. Uh, wish us luck, the bridge looks awesome. Try to stay as close as we can. Yeah, yeah. I'll like I'll let you know if we're in a quarter mile. It's not gonna be in neutral. Okay, perfect. You're good right now. Get a little bit closer right now if you can. Remember, if he drops into neutral, yeah, he's gonna. Okay, he yep. Try to get closer. Nice. That worked. That was good. Perfect. And now the car. Perfect. That was good. Alright, so we didn't film BTS of it, but we just did the shot. We uh, found our way to the ports kind of near Newark. Uh, we did this shot where we had the front shot here. Uh, front camera and we chased him coming around this turn uh, going away and then also coming back at us um, Now we're gonna do some giveaway work out of the side door just around like two turns here And then we're gonna go to a port over there that has some cool shots And then we have the tunnel to go through and then our final location. So it's currently 201 a.m. We're making good progress. Hopefully we're done by like 334 so really cool location with these containers and all that type of jazz. So we're getting some cool shots Those are huge trucks. This Lambo truck was here before too. The Lambo truck to our left. Lamborghini Bergen County. This was in the Google Maps thing from years ago. Dude, they're booking it out there. Look at that. 
Oh my god, this is crazy. All the cranes right here. Look behind you, look behind you. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Bro, if we... All right, so we pulled up on this really cool location. We didn't think it was gonna be here. We found it on Google Maps, and the entrance to it seemed to be blocked off to a gate, so we just kept driving, and there was this road that just came straight down, open, no gates or anything, and takes us right next to the cranes and all these containers and this junkyard, scrapyard behind us. Um, we put our car here, we got some feature shots. We're gonna do some rollers now. There's like dust and metal scraps flying in the air everywhere, so we put our masks on, because it looks bad, but how cool is this? This is a sick spot. So the scene we have right now is we're going to do a flyby on this huge open road near the port. And there's these white containers that are just like the white of his car. And we took two of the newer red lights and we put them down low to light the red containers here. And we're going to get down low with the gimbal so we can't really see the sources of the light too much. Um, and get a flyby shot of him just flying past, vroom, flying by here. Hopefully he'll get off throttle and we can see a flame. But just to kind of con or complement the white um, the white containers with the white car. And I'm going to walk slowly forward to the movie at... 24 frames per second doing regular speed. We just did our last scene of the video where the car gets dropped off in a parking garage. Uh, a guy comes to pick him up and he leaves because he like stole the car. He's got it dropped off where he needs to have it. And his friend picked him up and now he's gone. We also filmed him come up the spiral uh, parking garage structure, which is really cool. We couldn't get all the way to the top because it's blocked off. Um, and it's an airport, so we don't want to break too many rules. We got a cool shot of that. Uh, it's currently 4, 4, 4.23 a.m. Long day. Okay, so we just currently did a roller through Lincoln Tunnel. We have a cool little flyby through the tunnel, um, through there in a shot or two more. Now we're just pulled over, we're gonna do audio. I'm just getting the audio set up. We have one going to the exhaust, we're gonna go one to the bay, um, and then we'll be pretty much good for the night. So we're gonna get audio, and then we'll be good. It is currently five, 5, 10 in the morning. Okay. did some pulls and some runs hopefully the mic isn't on fire in the back there um if it is don't worry it's only like a 400 dollars mic so no sweat uh mp we got some audio of his car we did one to the near blow valve turbo area um and then one to the exhaust if i had multiple mics i would do both turbos blow valve and 
uh, exhaust, but we just did um, exhaust and blow valve turbo area. Turbo was getting to the turbos was a little bit too hot, so we just did near blow valve. We got some good audio, and uh, I think that's a wrap. MP, thank you so much. What time is it, by the way? It is uh, very fucking late, six o'clock. Oh, in the morning, goddamn, two days. <laughs> well worth it. If you guys are interested and want to check out uh, MP shop, MP, what do you do? Don't you do something cool? Uh, build cars like this. Uh, how much horsepower this guy? This one's at uh, 800 to the wheels. Oh, okay, so a good amount. Uh, where can people find more about uh, what you do? Uh, you can visit my uh, website, mpbuilt.com. Uh -huh. uh, on my website, the link to my Facebook page is there and my Instagram, which is uh, fully underscore built. So uh, check it out. Hell yeah, well, I appreciate your time. Thank you again. And thank you also to Sebastian. He's been here the whole time. Follow us, follow Sebastian as well. And uh, Schmitty, right? Uh, Schmitty, yeah, he's Schmitty, here thanks, now. Thanks but. to him for helping us out before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's a wrap. It's 6 a.m. We're gonna go home. Long night, long two nights. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next one. Peace.